Hello everyone, my name is David and I am a student advisor and a member of the student support team with uh, Laureus Online Education and in this video today I am going to show you some effective ways that you can manage and use your weekly discussion boards. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do today is just um, show the different views that you can choose when you're on a discussion board. Now this is just a simple getting ready discussion out of your student readiness orientation but um, you can view any discussion forum or board in the same way. So if you move your cursor over to the right hand side, you'll see these three um, little icons here. So the first one here is swap down, that's the arrow. And that'll basically put your discussion question, which you can see here at the bottom, I can move that to the top and the list of these names will move to the bottom. So we'll just do that. And so that will format it for you like that. Now, if you have a very large list of names, uh, maybe you're coming onto the discussion board towards the end of your week and uh, a lot of people have posted and you want to minimize it, you can, uh, you can, or hide it, you can press this one and it'll get rid of it all together and you'll just see the information there of how many posts have been made, how many are unread, etc. And then just click on it again to restore that. And then if you want to minimize it, so you just show a couple of posts, just uh, click on the restore to minimum option there and there you go. It'll just show the first few posts and that's it. And then click on it again to bring it back. And so they're just the different views that you can use when you're on the discussion board. Now in this part of the video, I'm going to show you different ways that you can search within a discussion board. So I'm going to leave it the way um, I have it here with my question on top and the list of students' names and the posts and times that they've made those posts below it. So if you have a long discussion uh, forum, lots of posts on it, you want to find your responses from one particular student, there's a couple of different ways that you can search for their names and then um, look at their posts. Now, just quickly to point out this search function in the top right hand corner, it doesn't, it no longer works. It's, a, it's no longer functioning. So please uh, do not use it. So the easiest way to find a name is to actually use the search function provided by your internet browser. Now, we are using Internet Explorer 9 using this video, and that is the browser that we recommend that you use. But this, uh, this uh, shortcut should work amongst most Internet browsers. So all you need to do is click on Control and then on the letter F. And then you see this box and this toolbar that comes up at the top of the screen will appear. It may appear differently on different Internet browsers, but this is how it should appear very similar if you're using Internet Explorer. Then just type in the name you're looking for. So I'm just going to type in my name here, David. And you can see now here on the list of names, my name, I've made two posts on this discussion forum and they are both uh, highlighted here. And the first post that you've made uh, by time, chronologically, will be in a different colour to the rest of them. So you can see this is in blue and my second one is in yellow. So that is how you would search using the control F function. So another way of viewing all posts by maybe one student or maybe your posts and another student or maybe the posts by your instructor is to use this collect function here. So maybe the first thing that we'll do is to search for a student's name. So let's take uh, the name Marika that you can see on the discussion board a few times here. So there we are. You can see there's four posts made by, uh, by Marika here. The top one again is highlighted a different color to signify that it was the first post made by her. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to tick all of the boxes beside her posts. Just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the collect button. And now I can see all of the posts that she has made. All grouped together to make it nice and easy for you to read. And to go back to where you were, you simply just press OK. And it brings you back to the discussion board again. Now, another way that you could maybe mark posts made by other students or your own or by your instructor is to use the flag option that you see here. So what you can do is you can select a post. Uh, let's take this post here by, uh, by Melania and just select it, tick the box, go up, click on the flag button and a little red flag will appear beside it. So this time, when you log out, maybe of the discussion boards later on that day or the next day you go in, and maybe that was a post that you wanted to reply to, but you never know, this student may have made a couple more posts and might 
make it then difficult to find, but you'll have flagged it and then you can go in and you can reply to that post. Or it might be the, the start of a discussion between a few students that you wanted to mark to go back to, and that's how you can do it. Then to get rid of it, simply just select that post again, like I'm doing now on screen, and go to clear flag, and the flag will disappear. Now, when you come in and out of your Lens account and you're going in and out of your classroom on the discussion board and you've read some posts, sometimes it'll all appear like this as unread and sometimes it appears red, but you can manage that yourself by using the mark as red and mark as unread. So maybe um, just to show you again, we will select uh, Marika's posts. And so say you've read all of Marika's posts, well, you just mark them all again like we did earlier, like so, and then we will click on mark red. And now you can see that her posts here and her name and the time that they were made are no longer in bold, whereas the rest of them are. So if you're finding that your posts aren't uh, staying marked as red or unread, you can go back and, uh, and do that. And maybe whatever way you choose to manage the discussion board, if you then want to go back to them and leave them um, as unread, again, we'll just search for all of her posts. like so. We'll mark them all again. That's only four. And then we will click as mark as unread. And there you go. They're back to all being in bold again to signify that they have not been read. And then finally, just to show you um, what this uh, part of the discussion board in the bottom left hand corner is for. Um, if you want to select all of the posts at the same time, you can simply just have select all here. There's a drop down menu, but you just click select all, click on go, and it'll take all of them, as you can see on the left hand side there. And then to unselect them, just go to unselect all, click on go again. And this refresh button can be useful as well if you think that um, another student may be on the discussion board at the same time as you and they may have made a post um, while you've been on, but you can't see it yet. Just click on the refresh button, and you can see there, you saw the, the screen kind of blink there that will upload any new posts that have been made while you're on the discussion board. So there are just some tips for how to manage and use your discussion board effectively, especially when it gets very busy and there's lots of posts. Um, if anything doesn't work correctly um, that you try from this video, please don't hesitate to get in contact uh, with student support or with uh, the technical support team as well, and we're more than happy to assist. So good luck with using the discussion board.